Hi everybody, we just got home from the farm. Uh, we had a long busy day building pig fence and getting the pigs ready to be separated. And then we went over to our friend's farm and we helped them cut up a very large tree and get it out of their, it was actually in one of their paddocks um, that they keep some of their dairy cows in. So we got that cut up, got it moved and um, cleaned up the paddock and, and put some fence back up for them. So now we're home, it's dark, our chores are finally done, and we're going to make some hamburgers for dinner. So I just wanted to show you what we were gonna do. We're gonna make two kinds of hamburgers tonight. One is going to be buffalo burger or bison, and then the other is gonna be uh, our ground beef uh, black Angus burger. So we're gonna do both of them and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so this is the hamburger press we use to make our hamburgers, and then we're going to put them on the Traeger and barbecue them on the Traeger. So I wanted to actually quickly touch base on these two uh, types of meat. This uh, Black Angus burger is what we raised on our farm, um, and then this is the buffalo or bison burger is a friend of ours raised this. So um, both are um, all natural, no hormones, um, that kind of stuff. So we're excited to see what the difference is. We're going to do um, a couple different things here. We're going to take two patties and we're going to just form them with no um, seasoning or anything like that just because we want to taste, see if we can taste the difference. We've had buff, we've had both these before and we've uh, put um, ingredients in them and then we weren't really able to tell the difference. So we really want to get the flavor of the meat. So we're going to make two burgers with nothing on them and then we will show you what we do with our other uh, burgers before we form them. All right, so he mixed the bison all together and now he's going to form a patty. These packages of hamburger and bison are one pound each. So there's one. I'm going to stick a toothpick in it so that I can remember which ones are bison and which ones are beef. Just want to do one of each right now and then put some seasoning in them or. Okay, so those are our two burgers. We got the bison, we got the black Angus. So when we bring them back in, we're gonna look at them and measure like how much they have shrunk down um, and what the size is. The, um, the Angus is, is very lean. It's probably 95%. Um, and then uh, the the buffalo or the bison is should be even leaner than the than the beef. So we'll see um, if the if the beef shrinks up more than the bison. So a little experiment here. So we're gonna get going and we're gonna put a little bit of seasoning in these two, 
and form the rest of our patties. Okay, so I've got this steak seasoning um, from the Spice Lab, so we're gonna put a teaspoon of steak seasoning in each one of these burgers. And then when we're cooking them, we will put, oh, see if I can focus on that. Um, and then when we're cooking them, we will also put a little seasoned salt on the top and cheese. Yeah, melt some cheese. Do you think that's gonna be enough? Or should we put a little bit more seasoning? Uh, yeah, give, give it a more. I guess one teaspoon doesn't look like enough, so we're gonna put a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna do some sauteed onions for our burgers, so I'm gonna get those started. Oh. <laughs> Skinny knives. Oh yeah, those are sharp.
Okay, before we uh, get our burgers ready, we're gonna do the taste test of the bison versus the Angus. These don't have anything on them, no salt, nothing, but we wanna taste the, see if we can taste the difference. So here's what we got. Let's see if you can see this. So this is bison. Yep. And then the one with two toothpicks is the Angus. Okay. So no seasoning. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. Okay. So bison. Let's taste it. And I was before we do that, let's do this. Oh, I have the little I would say they they are about the same. Like they didn't um, shrink up almost equivalently uh, to each other. So that means that our um, beef is very, very, very lean. All right, so here's what the inside of it looks like. Okay. It's good. It's chewy. It kind of has a little. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Not gamey, but a, di a different flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I might have to have a second bite. It's um. You can tell it's lean. Uh huh. Um, it's very very lean. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. The fact. That gives it a lot of flavor. I mean, mm -hmm. the flavors. Not a bad flavor. Mm -mm. But you can definitely tell it's, it's not lean. beef. It's lean meat. Yeah. Definitely. Lean okay. Meat. Now we're gonna try the next one. This is the Angus. Okay. So the Angus. I want, let's look at these tapes side by side. So this is Angus. This is the buffalo. And I hope, I hope that's, okay. So the buffalo is definitely darker in color than the, than the Black Angus burger. Okay, so let's try this. Mm-hmm. That's good. You can tell it has a tiny bit more fat in it. Oh. It's moist. Um, the initial taste of the bison, it has just like um, a different taste. Yeah, it's more game. It has a tiny bit of game in it, maybe. Yeah. This has nothing in it at all. Very good. Very lean, both of them. Hmm. I would say, you know, in comparison, they're both homegrown. Um, probably both super, super, super lean. Really, really good for you. Um, the fat content is hardly anything on either of these burgers. So, very good. I'm going to take another bite of this. Buffalo. I like De it. I'm def definitely liking the um, <clears throat> Angus. The Angus better? Yep. Okay. I think I like the Angus better when but I, I eat it, it like this. But I really got to be honest, if I was eating it in a burger yeah, with know. all the condiments, I yeah. probably couldn't taste the difference. Yeah. I don't think I, my palate would know the difference between well, the two types of beef. Yeah, we season. There are two yeah. types. Yeah. And and it has no seasoning, no salt, nothing in it, so you yeah. can really get the flavor yeah, of the, the of the buffalo. Of the meat. Um but um I really think if I had it on a burger all made up, I wouldn't know. All right. Let's put our burger together. My favorite condiment of choice as always my husband knows this, is mayonnaise. <laughs> I will eat on everything. So here's what we're gonna do. Oh, I need a, I've got my pan here. And I'm just gonna set it here on the counter. I toasted our buns. These look delicious. So we're going to, ooh, I might've, I might've, Toasted that one a hot second too long. So I'm gonna put mayonnaise on mine because 
That's what I love. I probably don't need this much mayonnaise, but oh well. And then we don't have any pickles in our house tonight, so there's no pickles for our burgers. But I've got some romaine lettuce that I'm going to put on there. A nice, beautiful slice of tomato. And we did put some smoked uh, Gouda on these hamburgers. So, And I think I'm going to take this one. This is buffalo, huh? Yep. It's buffalo. Okay. And then... That's going to be my burger. All right. That looks good. Mm -hmm. I did bring out ketchup and that just Now, oh no. Hold on. Back up. I forgot to put my onions on. Oh yeah, sauteed onions can't forget. Uh, yeah, I went through all that trouble. All right. Mm. Wow, that yeah, looks good. Okay. There's my burger. Yummy. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, Jamie's gonna make his. All right. Anyways, so those are our bison versus our Angus burgers. We are looking forward to eating these and relaxing for the rest of the night. Jamie's making his right now. Anyways, um, super easy meal. Uh, we had a long day working, so we are just having burgers. I didn't even do a side, so that's what we're having. I hope everybody's having a good night and everybody stay safe.